Hi lovely and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy. This time I'm reviewing 99% Mine by Sally Thorne. This is a contemporary chiclet novel and it follows Darcy who has been in love with her twin brother's best friend since they've been like eight. So Darcy and her twin brother Jamie used to live across the street from Tom and basically she's had a crush on him the entire time. And it really went to a head when they were in, like, high school. Um, but they couldn't, like, she could never actually tell Tom that she likes him because of the whole we're friends things, your best friend with my brother. It's incredibly awkward. Um, so she never tells him. And, in fact, when they're 18 and Tom makes a move and lets her, lets her know that he likes her back, um, she freaks out. She goes to her grandmother for help. And the advice her grandmother gives her is to... Go travel, go see the world, go experience life. Um, basically, get out of here for a while, go clear your head. And so she does. And Darcy spends the next like eight years just traveling the world and seeing everything and trying to forget Tom, especially as Tom starts dating this one girl, Megan, pretty seriously to the point that they even get engaged. So she's trying to put Tom out of her head. So we start following these characters when they're 26 and Darcy's grandmother has died and Darcy is overseeing the house that they, her grandmother owned and Darcy has all these really great memories of the house. She feels very nostalgic about it, but her grandmother has left the house to Darcy and Jamie in her will and they have to sell it so that they can split the inheritance. And Darcy and her brother have a huge fight. They used to be incredibly close. Um, like two peas in a pod, they did everything together. And then they have this fight over the house and what direction it should take and how they should sell it. Darcy really wants to keep it looking exactly the same as it always had, make it very traditional, and her brother wants to modernize it, bring it, like, update it, um, so that they can sell it very easily and for, like, a large profit. So they have these two conflicting views. It, they end up, like, completely blowing up. They both have hot tempers. So Jamie runs, and Darcy is kind of left with the responsibility of the house. They do agree to let Tom, who has gone into construction, be the one to take over the remodel. And so Darcy and Tom are now working together, and in very close proximity, Tom likes to stay on location of the houses that he's working on. So he's camped out in the backyard while Darcy is living in a, a renovated garage, basically. And so they're spending a lot of time together, and it's really the only time they've ever spent just the two of them without Jamie. And there is definitely an attraction going on. Darcy is trying to put down her feelings. She's engaged to somebody else. Let's, like, act mature. Normally, she's very impulsive and just, like, jumps into relationships. But she can't risk losing Tom. And she can't risk pissing off her brother even more. So it's a very interesting mix. And relationship and a conundrum to this. This was definitely a steamy romance. Like, there's definitely attraction going on in here. We know, especially from Darcy's perspective, that she is crazy about Tom. She loves everything about him, um, physically, emotionally, at any part of this guy. This is her dream guy that she has measured everybody else against and everybody else has failed. Tom's the kind of guy who just wants to take care of everybody else and help whenever he can and Darcy's kind of this free spirit who just goes and does whatever she wants whenever she wants and so they have this unique relationship. The relationship with the twin brother is also interesting. Um, the, the brother is more of a serious type who wants all his ducks in a row. He's like in banking or something. Like he's definitely a follow the rules kind of guy as opposed to Darcy but also they're twins so they're so close. The perspective in this book, most of it is first person perspective from Darcy, but there are some lines in here that are like third person and it's weird. And like once I noticed it, I could not notice it when it happened. Um, so that kind of rubbed me a little bit weird that we couldn't even keep perspective the same. It's definitely a steamy romance, which is not always my, which isn't usually my favorite. So I didn't really like that part of this book. And then I couldn't help compare this to The Hating Game, which is also written by Sally Thorne. And that book is so much fun. Like, it's also a bit steamy, but, like, most of The Hating Game is based around pranks and trying to outthink the other person. 
and this hate to love relationship, which has a completely different tone than this book. So as much as I tried not to compare the two, it's really hard not to. And so I also didn't like this as much as the hating game. Basically, this book just didn't click for me. I just, I, it's solid read. It was fun to read. I enjoy the relationship. I am totally Team Darcy and Team Tom. It doesn't feel contrived in any way, but at the same time, it's not exactly what I wanted. It's definitely more steamy than I would normally read. It's definitely a heavy emphasis on um, sex and, oh my gosh, he's so attractive and let me pull all his clothes off, which is not my kind of romance. Um, so as much as I love that we were best friends and, and we know each other so well and that's what we're building our relationship off of, like I love that trope. Um, but this book just didn't click for me in that way, and so it's only got a three-star rate. It's only, like, I like it. I might go back and reread it eventually, but, like, I don't need to own this book. I don't need to go rush out and, like, reread it immediately. Um, so it's, it's a middling review for me. There's nothing awfully wrong about it other than the tone perspective, which was weird. Let me know in the comments below if you have read this. Did you love it more than me? Do you have any other recommendations for chick or romance novels that I might like better? Peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.